Hey, it's Ben here from The Strength Factory, and today I'm gonna to explain to you how you can self-coach yourself for basically free. In my opinion, one of the best ways to improve your mountain biking is to get some coaching. It's an absolute no-brainer. I don't care who you are, how fancy you think you are, coaching, good coaching, is gonna improve you as a rider. But it's expensive at the moment. It's not always available, like they're super busy. And you know what? We can't do it all the time, most of us. So self-coaching, coaching with your friends is a really great way to do it. Now, the thing I always find though, is that if I go out on the trails and maybe film myself hitting some turns or get a friend to film me, is you're kind of going into the turn or whatever and you're thinking too much about it. And it's like, is that how I, is that how I normally ride? Is that how, is that how I actually ride? Or am I just trying to ride in a different way to look good in the video, okay? And this is where Roots and Rain comes in, okay? Or other event photography. So to do this, first things first, you need to do an event, a race or organized ride or something where there's a photographer. And I'm gonna show you in a minute how we use that. But basically, the thing about these events is that you're just riding. You rarely even spot the photographer you're riding the way you naturally ride, okay? And it's gonna show you the good bits and the bad bits and the ugly bits, okay? It's as simple as that. So, we're gonna head over onto the laptop now. We're gonna have a look at Roots and Rain, and we're gonna talk about self-coaching. So, in case you've never been on it before, Roots and Rain, this is the website, rootsandrain.com. Just pop it in your search engine, and you're gonna land on the home page here and then to find your photos and race results you just pop your name in the search bar at the top and then i'm clicking on the photos tab because that's what i'm going to use today to do a bit of self-coaching and to remind myself that i've got a lot of work to do on my body position and you can see here in total i've got 568 photos over the years including probably about 20 from the national champs I just raced this weekend. But this goes way back. And the good thing is that you can go all the way back <laughs> to the earliest photos and you can see a lot of progression in my riding and in my body position and things like that, which is really good to see. But what I wanna do is have a look at how I'm riding now. Because when you are at an event or in a race, you're not generally thinking about how you're riding the way you might be if you're in a coaching session or maybe someone's taking a photo or a video of you, you're just riding the way you ride, basically, whether that's good or bad. And now this weekend I went all right on the bike until I had a massive crash and nailed myself, which is also on the YouTube. I'll pop a link up there. But there's a few photos that from this race that I think are quite useful, which I'm going to show you now. So this first one here is actually a sequence. There's a left-hand turn, it's flat, it's rooty, really tricky. Coming in there, two, three, basically three shots. But really, it's the first one where I look at it and I think, well, the line could definitely be a bit better there. But look, look at my head, look where I'm looking. Right here, just, just in front of the front wheel. I'm not looking around the corner, I'm not looking at the exit and yeah, it doesn't look, I mean, my basic body position's all right. I'd say quite centered over the bike. I'm not off the back, which I know I'm guilty of sometimes. Uh, but I'm not going to execute that turn well. The bike's very upright. It looks unsettled, like the rear wheel's maybe off the floor and under braking a bit late and, and it's not looking great. And as you can see, as I come round here, I've started to make the turn. But again, I'm not getting much lean angle on the bike. I'm not making those tyres work although I have now lifted my head to look for the exit and then I'm starting to make a bit more of a, a position there, but really it's too little too late. Compare that to someone else on the same corner, which is quite easily done. You just find other people from the race or maybe your friends or look who had the fastest time of the day. This is actually my mate Joe, who I was riding with. He races in veterans category uh, as well, but he's a better rider than I am. And number one, like, the line is better. The, both wheels on the floor. He looks a lot more settled. Um, he's got a great position there. He's like initiating the turn early with a nice bit of lean on the bike. And look where he's looking. He's looking down here at the exit. And, you know, that's why he beats me at the races because he does things like this in every turn pretty much. And so straight away there, you can look at yourself in isolation, but then you can also look at 
other riders and appreciate how you could have done that turn better. Now I'm going to be a little more, a little kinder to myself here. Um, one of the things that I was, I worked on when I had some coaching this winter was to just set up a bit lower and be a little more dynamic over features like rollers and, and bumps and small drops. Um, and here I'm actually pretty pleased that, that I'm doing that. I tended to to be a bit too straight armed in the past and then that would let the front wheel wander once you kind of run out of the uh, the little chute or whatever. But here, like, I'm pretty happy with that. I look like I can ride a bike. It looks controlled, it looks aggressive. And, and again, you can compare that. So this is one of my elite riders, Fergus Ryan. He's a real good rider. And you know what? We're not in much different positions. The only thing you could say is that he's got more weight on the front of the bike and it's probably a bit more aggressive than me but overall you know it doesn't take long there using roots and rain to get an idea of how you're riding and what you need to work on and I can look through a wide range of these photos here from this race and from previous races um, and I can even look back to this horror here look at this from like probably the late 90s look at those knee and shin guards and riding a hard tail and that was a big jump for me back then, back in about 1998 or something. But um, going back across, Roots and Rain, if you ever do an event, it's a massive resource for checking in on your skill, on your body position, how you do it. And you've also got all the pros on here too, so it's an amazing resource. While you're there, you know what, make sure you buy a photo or two as well if you're going to use it. I bought a couple from this race so I don't feel too bad about showing you this. How simple is that? I mean, it doesn't take long. And yeah, as I saw there, I'm like, oh, I thought I was riding quite well. But actually, you know, that left turn in particular, not looking great there, Ben. I need to I need to work on that, that bike body separation and the line choice and so on. So I've just got a little something to go away and work on now to become a better rider. It's not going to spoil my enjoyment of my riding or when I look back at that event although I did actually nail myself I'll put a link up there if you want to see me in some pain um but yeah why don't you get yourself from roots and rain look at your your uh, pictures look at some of the quick boys and girls and look at how they do it and make a comparison uh it's really interesting anyway I'll be back soon make sure you like subscribe and all that jazz and uh I'll see you on the trails